Welcome back to Red Business in Focus with thanks to Cork's local enterprise offices where we're bringing you all the business news, meeting Cork's inspiring entrepreneurs and sharing their business success stories with you. And this week we've got JP Simpson from Big Man Modular joining us on the programme. JP launched the business, formerly known as Big Man Tiny Homes, back in 2018, having seen people's attitudes towards homes and their lifestyles changing wanted to make an impact and deliver the highest quality and efficient homes to meet every customer's needs. JP and his team are doing just that. JP, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. I am genuinely intrigued as to the name of the business, which we're going to get to in a minute. But tell me, if you can, in 30 seconds, what you do. Well, we, in essence, design, get you planning and build you your house in a workshop. Deliver to the site, finished. And once we get the materials to delivering on site about six weeks and we'd be on site in for about a day, two days max. That's it? That's it. Nothing more or less complicated mm, than Nothing that. more or less complicated than that. We'll take the complication out of it you, for you. you. By the sounds <laughs> of it, you do. So you can deliver a home in six weeks. We can deliver a home. Once we have the materials in the workshop, we can deliver a home in six weeks. Right, let's roll it back. How did you get into this? I'm building most of my life, 25 years building. I've done a lot of work abroad from mansions of houses on Nantucket to a lot of disaster relief construction. And it was through disaster relief construction, we got into the modular side of stuff where hospitals would have been set up in 40 foot containers. So whole operation theatres, wards, everything that kind of stuff all put, put together. So when I came back from that, it was in the middle of the, the downturn and tiny homes was a, a big fad, was a movement and people just didn't have the money to actually build a full size house. So we started with the tiny homes and then that developed into the modular homes. Right. Uh, you have to explain the big man part to me now. The big man was, it's always been my nickname. I used to be a lot bigger. It used to be about 19, 20 stone a few years back. And then, so hence the name was always big man, tiny homes. And it was just a play on the big and the tiny. So it, it was a bit of fun, a bit of me in it. Well, it, 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 <laughs> gr it grew as a result it of did. that. It did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, modular had a bit of a bad reputation for a while, didn't it? It did. And that's our biggest battle is fighting that 70s, People remember the 70s modular house that was just you'd shake the walls and the whole place would move. We, you know, the kids went to school in prefabs. Exactly. Prefabs weren't of Ex a, a durable quality. They weren't. Yeah. So all our units are minimum are passive. And to give you a few figures, I live in a 600 square foot unit. I'm heating it for 80 euros a year. And I'm running it on 250 euros a year of, of electricity at today's prices. That's pretty impressive. It's very good. So an average house, 1,000 square foot, 1,200 square foot house, your yearly running cost will be between four and 600 euros. Uh, you talk about the size of so 600 square foot, it's a, that's a decent it's size. It's a one bed apartment. It's a one bed it's apartment. It's a decent one bed but apartment. But if people want bigger, can you do bigger? We can do, we've got a couple of 3,000, 4,000 square foot houses. And the beauty of it is, is you might want a 2,000 square foot house, but like most of us, we can't get the mortgage, can't afford it. So we can design it, get you planning for it, but build you maybe just 1,000 square feet. And in a couple of years' time, when the money comes available or kids, we can just drop in the other module and, we, again, be on site for a day and all of a sudden you have two more bedrooms and a bathroom or living quarters or whatever you need. You're making it sound like my young fella sitting at home putting Lego together. It is uh, giant Lego. Is it giant Lego? Literally, it's Lego blocks that are 12 metres by 4 metres. Are you living the dream, JP? Are you actually living out your childhood making Lego houses? It, it is really like, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> just building blocks. <laughs> uh, the whole energy efficiency thing, though, I is huge because that's the demand. I mean, like if you're reducing your, your heating bill to 80 quid a year, you're already where the customer wants to be, aren't you? It is. And everything has to be more energy efficient nowadays. And running everything off solar and off grid is people, a lot more people are looking for that for the, for the healthier lifestyle. Um, how did Local Enterprise Office help you when you were building up the business? We got the business development grant with them. So really helped with getting the workforce and paying the workforce um, a lot of advice, a lot of kind of insight and meetings with people to kind of uh, men mentoring, to guide us on best practices and best systems put in place. Would you consider yourself to be a natural businessman? So in other words, if you were to speak to yourself when you were maybe that little bit bigger as you were describing earlier on, would, would you have given credit to the fact that you could set this business up? No, I definitely wouldn't say I'm a natural businessman. I'm definitely more uh, an on-the-site builder housing, but as things progress, you do tend to come more and more behind the desk at the computer, sales, design, marketing, that side of stuff. But it's good to push the envelope and get outside the, the comfort zone. But the direction of travel for all construction is using mod modern methods of construction, Absolutely. which is pretty much what you're doing. Have the whole thing built off site, shipped 
and reconstitute it if possible. But for the most part, just arrive as it is. I mean, this is already happening and people are just going to get used to seeing this more and more. Absolutely. And it's nothing new. It's around for years. It's just, you know, on the continent, in the States, it's, it's more popular. In Ireland, it's mainly only hospitals, schools, big industrial buildings that would be modular. Um, I suppose where we differ to most modular things is all ours are completely finished. Whereas a lot of modular, they'd only be finished at first fixed stage. So you still have on-site work to do, but as well as much as possible, we will be 100% finished. So toilets? Toilets, plumbed, wired, 100% finished. Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi, just literally plug it in and go. So we had a unit recently, we were there, it was a two module unit. So we were there Wednesday, three o'clock, putting in our foundation screws. And we were there six o'clock Thursday morning and the clients had dinner at eight o'clock that evening. That's impressive. Yeah, and it was two modules. Now, the only thing about it, in the 70s, there used to be a book called Bungalow Bliss and people just flick through it and they'd pick out variations on a theme of the same boring bungalow that now everybody hates. How are you avoiding that particular problem? Everything we do is 100% custom. We don't do any off the shelf designs as such. So like on our website, we have ideas, but they are only ideas. So like no two sites are the same. I know two people are the same, so all, all conditions of the housing and what people need will, will vary, so we can offer that. I'm very disappointed though, because we normally ask people to bring in a sample of what they do, and I'm looking yeah. at the shelf here, and the shelf is bare. You couldn't bring in a small little house to us, no? Not really, I know we do tiny homes, but not that tiny. <laughs> What's the website if people want to look you up, JP? Uh, we have two websites, Big Man Tiny Homes and Big Man Modular. Okay, you can have a look at either of those at JP Simpson. Thank you so much for joining no us. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's it for this week on Red Business in Focus. Make sure you join us on next week's episode where we'll be talking to David Walsh of Smart Roots. Smart Roots is a solution for delivery management by saving logistics teams time and money by planning and optimizing delivery routes in an effort to reduce carbon emissions. Looking forward to hearing all about their exciting plans to reduce the carbon footprint of companies from David next week. But until then, from everyone on Red Business in Focus, with thanks to Cork's local enterprise offices, thanks for watching.